Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Once upon a garden. Today, I'm gonna show you an easy way to save cucumber seeds. Each cucumber can produce up to a hundred seeds. By saving my own seeds, I not only save money, but also make sure I get to eat my favorite type of cucumber next year. Saving my own seeds also helps to preserve genetic diversity. You probably know that cucumbers cross pollinate easily by insects or the wind. To prevent cross pollination, specific methods need to be used, such as isolation of different types of cucumbers and hand pollination. For this video, I will focus on seed collection. We want to choose cucumbers only from disease-free plants and select cucumbers that are straight and healthy. I prefer to choose the fourth or fifth cucumber for seeds. This is the first cucumber on the vine. It grows too low and touches the ground, so it is very likely to be eaten by insects or other critters later on. You don't want to save it for seeds. Two years ago, we went on vacation. When we came back, cucumbers were left on the vine for too long. They all went yellow or orange. Look at this photo carefully and choose two cucumbers you would save for seeds. The top cucumber looks pretty healthy, so I'm going to save it for seeds. Put a sign beside your chosen cucumber and leave it ripen on the vine. Wait till the cucumbers change from green to yellow or orange and the size becomes bigger than regular harvest size. I will collect seeds from these three cucumbers. Fill the bowls with some water. I purposely chose the green bowl for the smaller uh, cucumber, the bigger bowl for the bigger cucumber, and the mashing cup for the longest cucumber. Cut the cucumber lengthwise open. Wow, there are so many seeds inside. Scoop out the seeds with a spoon and then put them in a bowl. Let me open the second cucumber. Scoop out the seeds. This cucumber is very long, so I'm going to cut it into half first and then scoop out the seeds. Let the seeds and pulp ferment for two days. The cucumber seeds have a slippery gel coating, which needs to be removed. Otherwise, the seeds become moldy very easily. Stir the water occasionally. After two days, remove the pulp, rinse the seeds, and add water to the bowl. The good seeds will sink to the bottom, while the lighter seeds will float. Get rid of the floating seeds. Drain the water. Press seeds on a coffee filter or paper towel. I found coffee filter to be better than paper towels as seeds tend to stick to paper towels. Don't throw out the remaining cucumbers 
You can slice them and apply them to your face to help moisturize your skin, or they, begin, they can be used to make liquid fertilizer. You can check out my previous video on how to make liquid fertilizer. Leave seeds in a cool place for about three days. When they are completely dry, store them in an envelope with a clear label. I bought this container from a Dollarama for two dollars several years ago. I also use metal cookie containers to store my seeds. I store the containers in the basement. Your cucumber seed should be wireable for at least three years. I hope you find this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.